Most moms get concerned if their boys are smoking. Not me. When I show up at work and they're smoking, I know we're eating well. <laughs> so many things that we do with smoke, but still, for me, what comes to mind is barbecue. That's smoking at its heart. And that's where it all began, and that's where it kind of even now still culminates. Uh, and I think people appreciate it the most when it's in a situation where you're not otherwise ex expecting it. I think the biggest impact easily is the smell, the aroma. It used to be if I smelled smoke, I would run the other way. <gasps> oh, it's gonna get on my clothes, it's gonna get in my hair, I'm gonna smell smoky. And now when I smell smoke, it's interesting, I run to the smoke. Like Toucan Sam would say, just follow your nose. Now you first have to know that there's a real difference between hot smoke and cold smoke. You can smoke anything. It doesn't have to necessarily have to be barbecue or brisket or ribs. Cheese is another one of those foods where it's not really soaking the flavor of the smoke deep into it. It's more creating a surface coating where that flavor is residing. Our chef recently started making his own homemade ricotta cheese. And I came to him with the idea and said, what if we smoke that? And so we did. People are used to what cannolis are supposed to taste like, but that little bit of smokiness in that ricotta cheese suddenly makes it something different. We started doing this with our ice cubes. People might say, well, don't they melt? Yup, and then we refreeze them and then we put it in these beautiful cocktails for this smoky whiskey kind of cocktail. Just pushing the envelope all the time. And it's unique, it's unusual, it's not what you're expecting, but it's excellent. Smoked orange slices are my new favorite thing. I mean, the, these orange slices are delicious by themselves, but it's just this really complex blend of flavors that mesh so well, and then you add the salmon, they're just incredible. There's nothing more fabulous to sell than a smoked watermelon salad. People don't know what that is. They're like, why is this watermelon so delicious? It's just watermelon. It's been smoked. Where there's smoke, there's flavor. My favorite new ways that we do smoke is with the little smoking lanterns. With the little smoking windows, we're doing that like right on the buffet, right at the station. People can see it, they can you know, watch it swirling around and they really love it. I love that. The best flavor is coming from smoke that is almost invisible. It's really, really thin, really wispy, gray, almost bluish. And that thin blue smoke is an indication that your combustion temperatures are right in that sweet spot. So you have to know what you're doing. You have to be skilled. You have to practice it. You have to be able to contain it. It really is about just having that kind of food experience where people just crave it. Because that's what we're about at Culinary Grass. We, we create experiences for people. The only other thing I would say about smoking is that even with cooking with smoke, getting the best product still comes back to the same philosophy that we've mentioned and we talk about no matter what we're cooking, is you have to start with the right ingredients.